Hey everybody, it's Belle, and I'm back with KQD, and we're playing more Discourse. Hi, good to be here. Oh, oh look, you've got a you've got a bonus story. Yeah, there's a there's a bonus story that will that we can we can do. But right now we're on day seven. Ray day seven. Ray day seven. Let's hope that one of your characters, who you the only character you have left that you voice, lives through the rest of this. That's not true. I voice the cat. Okay, sorry. You voice the cat. <laughs> I voice two important characters. <laughs> We've still got a long way to the other side of the island. We should get going. Is the is it um is it lagging for you at all? Uh, I... maybe just a tiny bit, okay. but I good. Okay, just in case there's more time trials, uh, time choices, I guess. How yeah. are you feeling this morning, Garrett? I'm still feeling pretty lousy, but I'll do my best to keep up. Okay, yeah, there is a significant lag, okay. so if it does a time choice, you might as well just click it. Okay. We can't keep wandering around here forever. I'm doing my best over here. Cut it out. There's no reason to argue. We don't have time for this right now. Let's get out of here. No, no lines for you. Meow. <laughs> the cat said nothing. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. Let's wait for Garrett to catch up. Oh, come on. We've been stopping for Garrett all day long. He's wounded. Leave him alone. Hurry it up, Garrett. Oh, you'll have to catch up on your own. I'm doing my best over here, okay, Jolene? Well, your best is going to get us killed out here. Oh my gosh, I get to talk. Yes, you do. I think you guys need to hold your horses. George is right. We're just wasting time fighting like this. That is not what George said. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Rita, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, Jolene. It's just me talking to myself. What's the matter, Jolene? <laughs> you know everything I do is for the survival of the group, right? Um, yeah, I think I understand that. Look, that's not important now. Garrett's dragging us down. If we're not careful, we'll all die out here in the jungle. We need to eliminate that possibility, don't you think? Hold on, what exactly are you suggesting? God, Jolene! This is about life or death at this point. I think Garrett needs to have an accident. I think you need to have an accident! Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? It's the only possibility left open to us. Can I count on your support, Rita? No! Reject- Join Jolene, reject plan, or threaten Jolene. I'm gonna threaten her. If you try anything, you'll be sorry. Fine, forget I said anything then. We'll just keep sitting around waiting to die. Hey. You two coming or not? Said oh. the nicest person here. Oh, right. I just had a quick question for Rita here. Hey, since we're stopped, how about taking a short break? Weren't you just yelling about how slow we were moving? Well, sure, but we gotta take a break sometimes. Actually, I can really use something to eat right now. Perfect. You can help me rustle up something to eat, Garrett. Uh, we're gonna go forage. Alright. I'd like to come too. Really, that's not necessary, Rita. You should stay here and rest up. Uh, no. Oh, I don't mind at all. I'd love to help out. Well, if you insist. All right, we'll be back soon. Keeping my eye on you, Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> there must be something we can sneak it, we can sink our teeth into around here. Hey, those kind of look like coconuts. Garrett, go check it out. Uh, I guess. Uh. 
These are just rocks. I don't see anything. Oh, just keep looking. What are you- Warn Attack! Your... Attack! Attack! Jolene, get away from Garrett! Eek! Did I just... Jolene? Is she breathing? <laughs> we killed her. There's no pulse. Uh, I didn't think I swung that hard. I didn't think my swing would have had so much power. Rita, you just saved my life. I got rid of the one accent that Belle feels kind of confident about. <laughs> I was just trying to do the right thing. <laughs> I owe you my life. I'm not sure how I'll ever repay you. I'm sorry, she threatened my third favorite character. She had to go. Seriously, don't mention it. <laughs> What's going on there? Why are you yelling? <laughs> what happened? It was an accident. I didn't mean to. Rita, you killed Jolene? Jolene was trying to kill me. Rita saved my life. I was just trying to do the right thing. I'm so sorry. Now that you mention it, Jolene had been acting a little strange the last little while. It's okay, Rita. I feel terrible. Let's get back out of this jungle. Make camp for the night. Take Jolene with you and eat her. Take Jolene with eat you her. and eat her. Eat her. <laughs> Beast. 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 <laughs> uh, oh. Oh my goodness. It's very dark. Guess I'm sleeping on the ground tonight. Don't go to sleep. We gotta talk. Who are we talking to? I don't know. There's, uh, there's so many people to choose from. <laughs> I'm sure we can talk to all of them. Alright, so you want to start with Garrett? Because I push yeah. him around. Yeah. I'm surprised that we aren't running into more wildlife around here. Well, we should probably be happy. I doubt there are many friendly creatures on this island. All animals are friendly. They just feel threatened by us. Garrett! Uh... <laughs> I have us, news for you. <laughs> they see us wearing weird fur colors on our bodies and making strange noises to each other. From their perspective, that has to be really scary. Uh, they have claws, though. They have the instincts and genetics to survive out here, though. That's true. Either way, they're probably avoiding us or something. Probably. Except for the boars. And then he flop. <laughs> <laughs> This one? Mm -hmm. This one? As I push him around. Mm -hmm. Hey, George. I've done a lot of hiking in my day. This is gonna be quite the trek. You've really been on a lot of adventures, haven't you? The world is a big place, Rita. Sounds super sad about Jolene. Well, he was already having problems still yeah he, he could be a, li a bit more sad but at least he's understanding that she yeah. tried to kill Garrus. <laughs> we're gonna wake up in the morning with him standing over us with a rock oh god <laughs> all of it can make it feel a little bit more manageable I suppose you're right. I just hope this is all worth it. Well, just have to be careful. I bet we'll be just fine. Except Jolene. <laughs> Who you said that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. At least I don't have to go through that messy divorce now. Yeah, I just get it all. <laughs> this has been my plan all along. <laughs> Ever since I found out. We can't be hiking on tired eyes, though. 
All right, George, let's get some sleep. Good night, Rita. I, just, I can't get over how they just kind of like fall over. Right. It would be so nice to be a cat right now. You don't care where you are, you'll figure out how to survive. You just hunt for food and go about your day. Our worst enemies here are each other. I guess the cat doesn't go to sleep. Guess not. It's our watch I'm, cat. Guess I'm sleeping on the ground tonight. Go to sleep. Z Z Z. Uh, I guess we'll go. We'll, we'll do day eight. All right. Day eight. Day eight. Wow, I actually had a really good night of sleep. On the sand. On the sand. I never would have expected to go through all this just trekking across the island. And Jolene, I definitely didn't think somebody would end up dead. Somebody else. <laughs> all of this. Uh. <laughs> Rita from Rita. beyond the grave. <laughs> all of this walking is starting to get to us, I think. You're telling me. I suppose Jolene is just part of the island now. Let's just keep moving. As they purposely go around where Jolene was. <laughs> Wide berth. <laughs> Whoa, holy cow! Wait, we found a village! I wonder if there are still people living here. I reckon they're all gone now. I guess we should start by looking around. Let's split up and scope everything out. We could really use some supplies. This is the off season for the summer vacay. <laughs> we We're at a resort. Hey, torches! These will be really helpful. Ray! I'm just gonna kind of. Oh, you! We did bring Disky. We we did. Oh, He's yeah. over there! I, no, Disky was here. Did did they set Disky down? Was Disky here before we got here? Is, I don't know. Disky is creeping me out. <laughs> Spears. He's watching you. Our child. <laughs> Our child is with the enemy, Rita. Teddy is, is haunting Disky. <laughs> Maybe we'll stand a real chance against the boars now. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. These pots will be totally helpful for storing food. Hooray! Once we actually get some. Hard to believe these huts can stand up to the storm so well. They must be pretty darn sturdy. It'll be really nice to have some real shelter for once. Are there cushiony beds? I, I doubt it. I'm gonna see if there's anything else to look at before um, yeah, definitely. talking. Hello, Disky! How did you get here? Who knows? <laughs> do, 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 do. It's like a face thing. Ooh. Ooh. This carving reminds me of my history of cep cephalic sculpture class back in school. In hindsight, I wish I'd paid more attention, but the professor was a real head case. But, um, tsh. <laughs> 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 uh, Looks like an Easter Island head. It does. Did you want to do the hand thing or talk to them first? Let's talk to them first. Okay. Oh, wait. I should probably check the beach. Beachfront property. Woo! Crabs. We're all just gonna... This is a, <laughs> This looks like a crab. Anyway, I'll talk to Garrett. Stop moving. Get back here. This place is pretty cool. Look at all the stuff here. This would be a good place to set our save point. I'm going to go have a seat in the middle. Nice, nice. Oh, so they'll be there to catch you when you accidentally slip and start falling down this hole. <laughs> this village seems quite nice. I wonder what the history behind this place is. I'm gonna go over to the fire pit. Oh, it's a fire pit. I thought it was like a well or something. It looks like a crab. It does look like a crab. I don't think But I thought can... that hole in the middle was gonna be like much deeper than <laughs> Cthulhu rises from the fire pit. <laughs> 
I can't talk to the cat, so I think all we got the left to do is sleeping because I didn't the, sleep all night. This is the fire pit. Okay, regroup, I guess. Okay, I think we've seen enough. What does everyone think about the village? It's awesome. There certainly is everything we could ask for, except food. <laughs> water. Not salt water. Good, I agree. I think we might have a real chance of surviving in a place like this. Best establish some ground rules before living here. Maybe best to choose a leader. Disky's the leader! Let's take a vote for it. How? By raising our hands? That seems a little uncomfortable. I agree, the right to an anonymous vote is a secret freedom. There's a ton of junk in the huts here. We can just scratch our votes on that. I saw some pots laying around. We can toss our votes into one of those. Okay, but we should take turns and vote one at a time. Okay, Garrett, why don't you go first? We'll form a line, we'll form a line behind you. There's only three of you there. <laughs> There's a voting booth hut. First... Oh, he said first like he was commenting. <laughs> I'm- I know I'm the only sane one here, but voting for oneself just seems so self-serving. Aw oh, man, who do I vote for then? Uh, we- we are voting for Desky! I don't know why, but it seems like the only reasonable <laughs> choice. I feel like George would do a good job! George, yeah. Rita, since you're the last one to vote, would you mind bringing over the votes to count up? Sure thing. <laughs> we all die because you voted for Disky. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, almighty Disky. One vote for Garrett, one vote for George, and one vote for Disky. <laughs> Disky? I can't believe it. We totally left Disky out of the voting. He should get to vote. Disky has a right to vote too. How are we going to get Disky to vote? <laughs> he's he's possessed, remember? <laughs> All right, Disky, who do you want to vote for? Rita. We just stare at Disky. <laughs> Dang. Oh, oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Oh goodness! What's Day going on? 62! What's going on? Disky is our leader. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my god, look at George! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> oh my god! Disky, what did we you do? We have become Lord of the Flies! There are some days that I forget how we even got here. <laughs> it's become so strange to think that we used to have a different life. One without George's head on a stake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder how everybody else is doing today. Well, everyone else is dead except for Garrett and I guess the kitty. What have we come to? What did George do? George, you never deserved this. <laughs> I can't live under the rule of Lord Disky any longer. <laughs> uh, should we talk to Garrett or look at Disky? Look at Disky. Alright. Hello, Lord Disky. You are so great. Your roundliness inspires us all to do great things. We wouldn't be here without you. I think... I think all we can do is talk. Yeah, I guess we can only talk to Garrett. Holy crap, what happened to George? I don't know! Under Lord Disky, we have prospered so much. All hail Lord 
Disky. All hail Lord Disky. He's the greatest leader the world has ever seen. All hail Disky. Huh? What's that noise? It's a helicopter. What do we do, leader? We must consult Lord Disky. Let's ask the almighty Kodge. Lord Disky insists that we hide from this foul machine. We must comply with his royal roundliness. But that helicopter could take us home. Over Overthrow Disky! <laughs> Obey Disky and hide. <laughs> I'm sorry, Disky, but I can't let you do that. Okay, now that Disky's dead, let's get off this <laughs> island. I'm sorry, son! I just hope we get its attention. So they can come see us that we put somebody's head on a stake. Yeah, you might want to get rid of that evidence first. It's like pitch it into the sea. Oh my gosh, I think we got their attention. It looks like they're landing. And now they're gonna shoot us. <laughs> Is that a man's head on a pike? Savages, shoot him! <laughs> What's a medical helicopter doing all the way out here? Who knows? Let's get in the helicopter, quick, before they notice George's head on a pike. <laughs> Grab the cat, that's the most important thing. Bye, Island. It's been real. It's been fun. But has it been real fun? <laughs> no! No! We, <laughs> we kill killed man. several people! <laughs> Missing disaster air flight 404 survivors found alive. I'm sorry, but no refunds will be available at this time. Disaster air PR representative. Are you kidding? We are suing you for everything you're worth. Monument erected outside of Area 51 for a lost conspiracy theorist. A loss of one of the greats. Aww. Lame Inc. awards three-year salary payment to plane crash victim's family. Steve Coffey's family upset because it isn't even enough to pay for funeral expenses. Aww! <laughs> you want me to read these other ones since you've been reading a lot? Sure. Former plane crash survivor launches new video game titled Discourse. Garrett Leon starts video game company and author's title about surviving on an island. <laughs> Meta. So meta. Disaster air in tailspin after bad business practices discovered. Disaster air stock becomes worthless. Survivor Cat YouTube channel breaks a billion views. Taswell signs deal for airline cat food. Even though he wasn't on the aircraft. Yeah. We don't know. Uh, maybe. B. Lo eight lives? Yeah. What? Eight lives eight left. Eight lives left. Animal shelter renovated after massive donations from fans of famed survivor Garrett Leon. Aw. Jolene Hatfield Photography Fund founded in honor of plane crash victim. She was trying to kill someone. Don't give her anything. <laughs> Help students at the college pursue their dream. <laughs> the college. The college. <laughs> Motivational speaker Rita Lockett speaks tonight. Survivor Lockett talks about island experiences tonight at university. Yay! George and Jolene Hatfield estate sale. Deceased couple's famous estate is up for sale. Everything must go. Aww. Island victim George Hatfield receives critical acclaim for recently discovered love notes and poems. I liked his work before he died. Redix Mikdala. The Daily Blah. Missing passengers found. Woo! Sast Air Flight 404. Missing passengers found. Teddy redacted. Teddy died in his sleep to volcanic gases that filled the cave in which he had shot shelter. Shot shelter. <laughs> Sought shelter. 
We all miss Teddy. We all miss Teddy. Rita! Rita! Steve Coffee. Steve died after inhaling too many volcanic gases that filled the cave where he was sleeping. Barrett Le Garrett Leon. <laughs> Barrett. Garrett Leon. It was horrible. Oh, you have to read that. It was horrible. I never want to do it again. A whole two months without video games. Garrett. Jolene Boyle. Jolene was killed accidentally during a heated argument about how the group would survive. George Hatfield. George was killed after a disagreement with the plastic flying disc. Rita Lockett. I thought about backpacking through Europe after college. I'm good now. <laughs> Survivors discovered living in tribal village after two months of grueling search efforts. While evidence was present that bizarre behavioral patterns had begun to emerge, survivors not showing signs of permanent psychological damage. <laughs> sure. Sure! Mm, sure. Alright, so, uh, that was discourse. Um, I guess we can come back and play the, uh, the... Indie Island mini bonus story, um, but that was the main story. We got to the end with only two people <laughs> alive. Only two. <laughs> only two people alive. I'm great at making tough life decisions. We, well, I mean, we had three, and then somehow George lost his head. Yeah. Oh my and gosh. I, there's no way I could see, like, the poisonous gas filling up the cave. I guess. Like, that was not my fault. <laughs> I guess we'll just, I guess we'll just mourn their loss. I've, I don't know. <laughs> I've never made it through the main story without somebody dying. In fact, at one point, Rita died in the main story. Oh, goodness. Did yeah. it, like, stop you? or? Yeah, that you was just... the end of the story. Yeah, okay. Rita just died. So, Aww. uh... So, I mean, you made it to the end, so... Yeah! I got off the island, at least. Right? Uh, we'll... We'll play this again. We'll play the Indie Island mini bonus story. I actually... I have never played this before. I know nothing about it, so... Uh, be should be... Brand new! Should be interesting. Um, thanks everybody for following along. Uh, links to, uh, KQD's, uh channel and social media is going to be in the description along with mine as well as links to discourse so that you can play it yourself and hopefully make better decisions than we did um, and we will see you next time when we go to indie island bye oh.